If your company files online, simplify your business reporting by lodging your activity statements straight from AccountRight. Before you can lodge online, there's a one-off easy setup task you need to complete to let the ATO know that your software provider is MYOB. Let's take you through it. In your online company file, click Prepare BAS from the Accounts Command Centre. On the Lodge Online tab, click Prepare Statement. Sign in to MYOB as you normally do when accessing your online company files. If you also enter a user ID and password to sign on to your company file, enter these details too. Once you're logged in, you can get started. To ensure the right information is sent to the ATO, choose whether you lodge your activity statements as a business or as a BAS or tax agent. If you lodge on behalf of a trust, spouse or as a bookkeeper or business intermediary, choose the top option. If you're a BAS or tax agent, enter your contact details, agent registration number and agent ABN. Make sure the details you enter here are for the agent that you set up to have the activity statement obligation for this client in the ATO portal. You'll then be given a software ID which is unique to your ABN. You'll need this number to let the ATO know that you'll be lodging returns from AccountRight. Write down the ID or copy it to your Windows clipboard. There are instructions here on how to notify the ATO of your software ID. If you have an OSKEY, you can do this online straight away through the ATO Access Manager. Otherwise, you can do it over the phone by calling this number here. When you've done this, you can set up your activity statement fields. This is where you link the tax codes and payroll categories you've used in AccountRight to the relevant fields on the statement. The top part is for if you are registered for GST and need to report it on your activity statements. The bottom part is for if you report on PAYG withholding. You only need to fill out the parts that are necessary for you. If you aren't sure which ones you need, consult your registered agent. Before you get started, select your annual turnover. If it's less than 10 million, you are eligible for simpler buzz, which means you only need to set up the G1 field if you report on GST. If your turnover is 10 million or more, you also need to set up fields G2 to G15. When you're done, you'll see any outstanding statements that you can lodge online. To work on an activity statement, click to open it. If you edit any of the pre-fill values, they'll be labelled as an adjustment. To change it back, just click the label and choose the original value. You can click validate to check for errors or missing information. And when you're ready to lodge the form to the ATO, click prepare to lodge. One last validation is done to ensure everything is ready to go. BAS and tax agents can download a PDF of the return and email it to the client for review and approval. You can then lodge the form. After a few moments, a lodgement confirmation message will appear with payment or refund details. You can now download a PDF of the lodge statement to keep for your records. And finally, once you've made payment to the ATO or received your refund, you'll need to record this transaction in AccountRight. See online help for details.